Mobuai Squad, if you're not eating right now, don't torture yourself. Go get something in the fridge. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog. But as you can see, we are not at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse in Cavite. We are actually checked in to Richmond Hotel. Yes, guys, we're back in Iloilo. Remember our Iloilo vlog recently? Well, we're back because we're here to do a special video for Iloilo tourism which is going to be so fun um and you guys know this hotel look ah uh, look at these yummy treats see these are sweet delectables oh and look at these little these little flowers how cute i love it ilo ilo we love you so much what's up mabu high squad good morning we are here filming now um this morning there's jaya this, uh -huh. this is our crew. There's the deck Hello, over. Uh, Hello. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Um, and we're shooting all around Iloilo today. Guys, look at how beautiful this mural is. See? Isn't that amazing? So it's partially 2D painted, but also partially 3D. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? Like, it's it pops out of the wall. And it's so colorful, and it's so representative of the Nagyang Festival. See, there's the Santo Nino. Just beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, we finished a whole day of shooting. It was so tiring. It was, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. It was so hot. Oh my gosh, can't wait for you guys to see the video. But guys, we're at a place called Beng. Look at the food here in Iloilo. Chicken binacol, which is like a tinola, chicken soup, but cooked in coconut water. <gasps> it's so good, guys. And then look at this, flying pampano. It's like pampano fish, and they cut it to make it look like it's got wings. And then this is pork barbecue. Mm. Doesn't it look good, Ben? Yeah. Look at that. Guys, in case you don't know, Iloilo, which is on Panay Island in the Philippines, is known for a lot of things, but definitely it's food. The city won UNESCO Creative City of Gastronomy recently. So, you know, it's world renowned here in uh, Iloilo. You guys must visit Iloilo if you ever get the chance to visit the Philippines because the food, it's something else, very unique. Let's try their binacol. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, let's try the pampano. That's my favorite fish. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, thanks, Bear. The oh boy's got. Look at that. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh, whatever they seasoned it with. It's like, is that burnt yes, coconut? Oh my gosh, guys. Mabuhay squad. This here is five Mabuhay stars. Salted egg shrimp. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. Mmm. This pampano is life changing. Go grab it with rice. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, look this. So good. Oh, that's the specialty. Oh, oh, this shrimp is their specialty. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You can eat the shell. The salted egg mixed with the juicy shrimp. Mmm. Heavenly. Mabuhay squad. That shrimp, their specialty is five Mabuhay stars too. Guys, this is Aaron, What's yes, up, who's guys? helped with production Thank you so much. Uh, for today's video. Uh, He's from Iloilo. Aaron, what is this? Three-way talabasar. Three-way? Uh, yes, sir. Oyster. Combination of GC oyster, sir. Uh, GC Rockefeller oyster, and Rockefeller, and baked. baked. Oh my gosh, look at it. 
Oh my goodness. He obviously did better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Which is your favorite? This, this binacol is uh, food for the soul. Is it? Yeah, yeah binacol. Yeah, yeah the longos love it. All right. <laughs> oh, this is steamed oyster. Oh my gosh, guys, the oysters. Let's try. Oh my gosh, guys, bangus sisig. Ho oh, ho. Oh my goodness. This is milkfish yeah. chopped up. Sizzling blue marlin. Blue marlin. Blue marlin. Oh wow. Another specialty? Salt and pepper squid. Salt and pepper squid. Oh my gosh. Guys, the seafood here in Iloilo is second to none. Honestly. Look. Yeah, let's try. Oh my gosh. Everything is sizzling all around us, guys. Let's try first this oyster. Look at the oyster. Mm. Oh my gosh, those oysters are so good. Mm. What is this, Beth? Oh, salt and pepper squid. What is that sauce? Mm. It's like a Taosi type sauce. It's like sweet, little savory. Mm. Let's move on to the sisig that's sizzling right in front of us. Look at that. Oh, can't forget. Gotta squeeze calamansi on it. This is a Filipino, um, like citrus used in Filipino cuisine. You just like squeeze it on everything. A little blast of vitamin C. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh my god. Wait, we gotta like try the sea stick first. Try the sea stick. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that seasick. Mm. Wow. Uh, Guys, let's try the marlin. Oh my gosh. Mubuai squad, if you're not eating right now, don't torture yourself. Go get something in the fridge. Chips, something. Oh my gosh, look at that piece of marlin. Wow. Protein Omega's Blast with all of this seafood. Mabuhay squad. All this food that we've just tried, five Mabuhay stars too. Guys, look who's here. It's Alan and Macy. Hi. Thank you. Guys, thank you for the pheasants. Oh my gosh, we love them. Guys, in case you don't know, they gave us pheasants for Christmas. Red golden pheasants. Thank you. Hi, Hello. Natalie. Hello. Good to see you again. Yeah. This is Ma'am Natalie. Natalie. Yes, who runs Richmond Hotel. And there's Albert. Hi, Albert. Looking sharp in your barong. Yeah. Guys, every time. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm so excited for tomorrow to join Oh, yes. We're going to be shooting for a second day. He's going to be joining us. Natalie will be joining us. Yes. We have had such an awesome day. There's Miss Joyce. Hi, Miss Joyce. And the production all there. We had such an awesome, productive day. And it's so good to come back to a family. In Ilo Ilo. Hey, my boss! What's what? Good morning, Mabu High Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, we've been shooting all morning and we're here now at Hotel Rio. Check it out. Guys, look at how epic this breakfast is. Crepes, bacon and eggs, pancakes and what is that? Waffles? Filipino breakfast? Good morning, Good morning. Albert. Welcome to the another day of shooting. Yes. <laughs> And this is an awesome hotel. Yes, it really is. It's Sir Alan's hotel. Right? Yeah, yes. it's Alan's hotel. And they have fishes here. I know, I've noticed. <laughs> Guys, remember how Alan Ten is an animal lover? Look, aquaponics in full effect. There's a fish here in a pot with pothos. You see? You see? So awesome. I love it. Good morning, Jaya. <laughs> Guys, let's eat. This here is Pancit Molo, so a very famous um, Ilo Ilo breakfast food, comfort food. And it's Pancit, but it doesn't have noodles in it. It's just literally dumplings. Guys, I'm gonna try the crepe. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys. I can hardly breathe. This crepe was so good. 
it was five Mambu High Stars. Guys, so we finished shooting the video. Oh my gosh, it's been such a long day. We were able to nap, thank goodness. I'm starting to feel like myself again because if you've watched the previous vlogs, I've been non-stop working, like three hours of sleep every night for the past like three weeks. But was able to sleep, I'm feeling normal again. And guys, today is a special evening because we're doing something called the degustation. And it's like a food tasting menu. Look at this menu, guys. Crazy. Hello, Richmond Hotel Iloilo. Look at this. It's a seven course menu. Oh, and we're still shooting. Actually, we're shooting like the last scene because there's food here. We're going to include it in the video too. Direct. Yeah, it's like a, what do they call it? Lightsaber. He's using it to light the food later. Oh, what? Is this the first course? Yeah. No, not yet. No. Oh, okay. I was like, wow. Okay. We start small. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so cool. So, this particular degustation involves burnt, charred, or flamed foods. Um, because here in Iloilo, as you know, food is their, like, one of the best things this city has to offer. Um, and apparently like barbecue, things that are charred, is really big here in Iloilo. So all of these things involve things that are burnt. See, burnt corn, burnt cheesecake. And I noticed that, I was looking, burnt cheeses, see? So this is gonna be interesting. So this degustacion, they have every month, one time a month. And you can reserve this like full course menu, which has like, a background story to it and some significance to Ilo Ilo culture. All right, we're starting with welcome drinks. I would like to introduce to you our uh, welcome drinks. This is called Samara. Samara? Yeah, Samara. It's a hot drink. It's a jasmine tea based, mixed with some pagita petals, some pagita syrup, oh. and a twist of lemon. Oh, I okay. see. So That's this, this thing. This is a hot drink. A hot drink. Yeah, it's a hot drink. It will uh, help our body. Uh, relax for a while. Ooh, good. A relaxing so, hot drink. Oh, how interesting. It's the welcome hot drink. Oh, so cool. It's yellow. OMG, guys. Let's try this hot drink. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's nice and yellow. Mmm. 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 Okay. It's sweet. Mmm, you know what it tastes like? Hold on, wait, what does this taste like? This tastes like, um, Neo Citrin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. It tastes like Neo Citrin, guys, all you Canadians. Because of the lemon. Yeah, because of the lemon. It's like really lemony and there's a zest. There's like a citrus zest to it. Mm. Guys, there's Chef, okay. Head Chef. Good to see you again. Hi. So welcome to this is called Binuog Naptinapai. Frozen sourdough bread. So guys, this is roasted chorizo put put mousse. This is black garlic cream. And this is sourdough bread. Let's try it. Mm. This is the black garlic cream. The chorizo put put. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. It goes so well together. <laughs> Chef said that during the Nagyang festival, just follow the smoke and you know you're in the right place. That's why they did this smoke, smoky menu. Guys, this is an oyster trio. Flame grilled oysters, soy chili, kinilao, garlic butter. Oh my goodness, look at that. Guys, RJ shouted. It must be so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That first one, wow. 
Oh my gosh. Let's try the third one. Mm. Mm. OMG. How was it? Wow. wow. Super good. Super good. Guys, those oysters were five Mabuhay stars. Natalie, this yeah. is so yummy. Thank you. We're only on the second course and we're already like mind yeah, blown so by it. Ready your tummy. We'll have yeah. more. Yay. <laughs> and guys, look at her outfit. Can you tell us about this outfit you were saying? Yes. yes, this is actually made by the indigenous peoples of a place called Kalinog. It's in the highlands. And this is called Panubo. So the flowers are actually stitched one by one. Whoa. So you see the, the different flowers and yeah. Cool. And Derek Elbert actually made the movie about the indigenous people. Oh, I Kenino. see. So, yeah. So we're very proud of it. Awesome. Love it. Kalino. Amazing. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Look. Mmm. It's a trio. So this is for all of us. RJ will not eat this because it's like liver, it's intestines. Alright, are you going to eat it? Come on. Be adventurous, it's 2024. What is that? That's gizzard, I think. <laughs> Go, RJ, you could do it. Okay, I'm gonna try the intestine first. The isao, they call it. Dip it in the spiced vinegar. Oh, wow, look at the flowers. Look at Archie's face. Come on, man. Exactly. Oh my, you're trying the isao. I'm so impressed. Guys, this is a big day. This is my first time. First time eating isao? Yeah. Just, yeah, eat the whole thing. It's chewy. It's chewy, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. Good, I'm so proud of you, man. Maybe now we can join Amazing Race. <laughs> Guys, we were contacted by Amazing Race Canada to audition. But I turned it down because RJ usually doesn't eat exotic stuff. Okay, let's try this. What is this? Beef liver. Yeah. Okay, this is not so bad. I like liver and it's healthy. Mmm. Mmm. It looks like a Wagyu, yeah. But it actually doesn't taste like liver. Or just like, eat mine. No, man. <laughs> Go, you can do it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like liver. This is amazing racy little This is amazing racy Yeah, go. <laughs> First time to eat beef liver? I don't even eat liver. Wow. Mm, it's like smoky. <laughs> See? It tastes like beef. It tastes like beef. Yeah, told you. Because some livers taste like smoky and weird and organish. Organy. Okay, let's try this. I think this is gizzard. Let's try it. Mmm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is that, Jail? Try like a giant isao. <laughs> a giant isao. It might be the stomach. Okay, RJ, of the three, this is probably the hardest. Really? Why is it too <laughs> Jay agrees. It's just really exotic. Okay, go. <laughs> RJ's like, I'll just leave it there. Go try one. <laughs> try just one. You already did two. I'm so proud of you. Okay, here, let me dip it. <laughs> Go! Wait. RJ, you could do it. I think I need more vinegar. More vinegar, fine. <laughs> Drench it all you want. <laughs> Guys, this one is the most exotic tasting. If you can stomach this. Wow, you ate both. Huh? It's like fat. 
pork fat. It's like pork fat. But I mean, the texture I think is the weirdest thing to get used to. Not bad? Are you gonna spit it out? Let's see you swallow. <laughs> But it's pork, I think it's pork intestine. It's pork intestine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating it. Okay. So Let's see you swallow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> He's gonna spit it out the moment I stop. Wow, babe. I'm so proud of you. Wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. See, that's so good. Oh, guys, that wasn't chicken gizzard. That was pork large intestine. I could kind of taste it the moment I bit into it. I'm like, this tastes like the rear end of a pig. <laughs> RJ's looking for the palate cleanser when that's coming. The sorbet. <laughs> Guys, a Spanish champagne. Wow. Okay. I'll have a sip. Oh my guys, this is the third course. It is um, pampano filet with all this other stuff. Anato basting, libas jam, grilled vegetables, burnt bagoong oil, and batuan consomme, which chef here is pouring. Oh my. Mmm. Hit in the spot. All right. Roasted batuan oil. Wow. To get the smokiness. Smokiness, okay. Bagoong oil, okay. Ooh. Bago on oil. Enjoy. Thank you, chef. Wow. Can I have some champagne? Mmm. Okay, guys. Let's try this. Oh my. Okay. This looks interesting. Mmm. Mm. Like mix, mix the green thing. Oh, mix. Oh, there's green stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try. Mm. Oh my. So good, guys. Mm. So good, though. Oh my, guys. That was so delicious. Yay, RJ's giving me his skin. Love it. How's the champagne, Jay? Awesome. Guys, the champagne pairs perfectly with this. How do they just how do they decide this, right? Like the flavors really match. Mm. Oh my gosh guys, look at this. This is called basa basa. It's a whole mix of things. It's like sticky rice with like dried beef floss that's been like Dehydrated for 96 hours. Guys, it's crazy. Pickled red radish, cilantro, pickled onions. Just a whole bunch of stuff. How is it? Good? All right, let's try. <gasps> Look at it. Elo, Elo, your food, seriously. This is amazing. Guys, oh my God, there's so much stuff here. Enjoy. So, crazy. you know what this is about? Yes, vinegar and then Aged it becomes vinegar. wine. Oh, okay. May may cutting alcohol. Yeah, yeah. So you you taste alcohol. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh. The mix of flavors, guys, is so complex. Mm. When you hit the beef, there's a spice to it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. This is so sophisticated and yummy. And the rice, the sticky rice is like sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Mabuhay squad. This here is five Mabuhay stars too. Wow guys, this is the most complex palate cleanser I've ever seen. Burnt peach calamansi granita. Unbelievable. Let's try. Mm. I hope you enjoy it. It's like um, burn. Mm. I'm a bird with a reduction of the tuba. Yeah. Mm. It's very unique. It's so unique. Yes, yes. It's the it's most really different taste and texture together. Guys, it's torched camembert cheese at the bottom. See that? Oh my gosh, the first 
main course. It's native chicken, so like wild chicken with what is this oil? Uh, blackened leek oil. Blackened leek oil, guys. And it's there's like a whole bunch of stuff. Roasted rock salt. It was cooked for 14 hours. This. Wow, look at that. Mm. Lovely. Even the plates are made by locals. Oh my gosh. Directly local yeah, support local. Yeah, support local. Right. Burnt rice. Burnt rice. Um, you, you promote sustainability as well, not just mm. um, environmental, mm. also financially. Mm. Um, sustainability. And if they know that they have a place oh in modern establishments like us, mm. I, I think they'll continue to do more. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, so that, those are the special uh, clay plates that we have. Um, wow. Made in Bawa. It's so good! <laughs> Guys, it's so good! Mm. Oh, what my... Mm. Guys, this native chicken cooked on rock salt, five Mabuhay stars. Guys, RJ gave me his. You're full? Yeah. All right, more for me. RJ, what was your favorite so far? <laughs> Don't lie. I know what he's gonna say. He's gonna say the Isao. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't. It was. What is your favorite? So f seriously. Uh, beef liver. RJ, yeah. is it really? I actually like it. Oh wow, does that mean we're gonna eat liver more often now? Good, that's healthy. Jaya, what's your favorite so far? The third course. The pompano with the soup. The pompano with the soup. Yeah, that was really good too. My favorite so far was the oysters. I also really love that chicken. That was amazing. And then where's that rice thing? The basa basa. That was oh wow. Oh my goodness, guys. Sixth course, the second entree. They call it Calios Ilongo. <gasps> Crusted butter aged ribeye, smoked Spanish chorizo compote, it's at the bottom, that sauce, um, olive sand, grilled potato pave or pave, and coal fired butter of the gods, which is bone marrow. <gasps> Let's eat! Guys, RJ's full. He's gonna give it to me. Okay. Let's try the steak, the ribeye steak, with this black sand. Sand? This stick is hitting the soul. Mm. Okay, let's try the other thing. This looks like it's potatoes. Yeah, it is. Let's try the potatoes. Mm. Mm. Those are some good potatoes. Let's try the bone marrow, guys. Oh, look at that. Look at that bone marrow just come right off. Holy! Mmm. 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 I want more. Holy. I'm gonna mix it with the sauce. Thanks, babe. Guys, I'm getting double. Mmm. Oh my goodness, guys. Mmm. Whatever they seasoned it with, <gasps> hits you right in the. Right in the face. Mabuhay swap. This, also, five Mabuhay stars. Oh my gosh, guys. The first of two desserts. This is Maha Blanca ice cream. Burnt corn, toasted coconut flakes, coconut cream, and queso de bola. Native, like, local cheese. <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, let's try this. Mm. Oh my god. 
Mmm. It's like salty, sweet. Mmm. Oh. So good. Mmm. So how does it fare? It's so good. <laughs> bye bye. Mm. Guys, ash, seawater, and coconut. <gasps> oh my. Mm. It's a cheesecake, guys, with like. Um, Pina sugbu cools. It's banana. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's try it. Guys, what a way to end the meal. Let's try it. Oh my. Let's try it. Mmm. Melt in your mouth. My goodness. Is it good? Yeah, it melts in your mouth. Melts in your mouth, Jia. Oh, this was wow. This is five Mabuhai stars, guys. I mean, look at it. Mmm. It's like, again, salty, sweet chocolate banana. <gasps> ilo, ilo. Seriously, Richmond Hotel. So, guys, if you want to try this tasting menu here at Richmond Hotel again they have it every month um, you have to book and every month it's a different theme isn't that crazy and it's like this it's like legit mm. we'll fly here every month we'll fly here every month our drink says every month guys the whole kitchen stuff is here hi Thank you so, so much for the amazing food. Awesome service. Thank you, Miss Natalie. Always. You're most welcome. You're always welcome. Always wow. Welcome. Unbelievable. Maraming salamat. Thank, Thank you. Good morning, Mabuhay Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, landed back. On Luzon Island we're here back home yay and my dad is hanging out by the pool hi daddy hey. did you do sauna yeah, I did. and you swam yeah. how's the water uh, not bad. <laughs> good daddy what's the joke of the day okay we got joke of the day. why Canada and USA is so spicy what? Why is Canada and USA so spicy? I don't know why. Be why? Because they got four season, seasons. You know, spicy. Four season. Oh, like seasoning. Seasoning. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Saifs. Hi, Saifs. Hi, Sahiri. Oh, hi, guys. Did you miss us? Did you miss us, guys? Look at their haircuts. You guys have such weird haircuts. Look at, look at Cypher's Cypher's. You, you're so spotty. You're like a Dalmatian. Can you see here, huh? Look at your haircut. I'm gonna, I miss your long hair. Mabuhai Squad, I am so glad we are back home. And look, look at the aviary. Not sure if we showed you. See the swirls? We added the swirls because RJ felt like just the stickers looked really, I don't know. It didn't look r complete. So we added the swirls back, guys, from when we trained our parrots um, to understand the concept of glass. Um, and it looks cool. I've missed the swirls. See? Swirls are back. And the aviary is looking really lush, guys. Look at that. And guys, I don't know if you can hear that, but listen to the diamond doves. Do you hear them? They're like, -da 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 -da. it's like a cooing. They're singing to try to attract females, but there are no females. Hear them? <laughs> you diamond doves are noisy. Look at the pond. Look at how beautiful it is with the guppies swimming around. Ah, oh, love this water fountain. The birds are over there, feeding, yes, awesome. Now guys, 
Look at this. As you know, this is a gaviary. <laughs> All male um, aviary, no females. However, they're nest building. That is a zebra finch with an owl finch. Not only are they pairing up like male and male, they're also pairing up by different species. They're not the same species and they're building a nest. Are you guys expecting to lay eggs or what? And check this out. They're stealing my Spanish moss for nest material. But in that little thing there where that diamond dove just landed, that's all hay. They could use that stuff. But it seems like they have a preference for the more expensive Spanish moss. And guys, let me show you some awesome updates. Remember this beautiful green purple vine? It's really spreading now. Look, all the way here, all the way here, it's grabbed onto the wall and it's reaching up this way. I think it's looking at this um, orchid. It wants to reach out to the orchid. Isn't that crazy? I think like when we, you know, revamped the aviary, the vine ended here, but it's growing pretty quickly already. It's also establishing that way, see? These pom-pom type plants, surprisingly, are still doing well. I didn't think they would. I thought they would die by now, but no, look. Still doing surprisingly well. Um, going over here, I noticed that this Monstera is kind of dying at this section, but it's like really becoming alive up there. So we will continue to climb that wall. Um, I've also noticed that most of the leaves here on this side are now starting to face the light because before it wasn't. Um, down here, Philodendron doing so well. Look at this. It's starting to climb this branch. This plant here still doing really well. I feel like it's grown even though we've been gone just three days. It's definitely grown, especially up here towards the top. This, by the way, is a native plant here in the Philippines. Apparently it grows in the mountains somewhere. Really expensive, but it seems to love growing here, which is amazing. I love that. Moving over this way, this Ficus elastica reaching out to the sky and the light, which I love. Doing well. And guys, look at this. Okay, first of all, this giant pothos. The lower leaves are dying, which I guess is expected when you transplant it. But from here on in, like especially here, it's growing now, see? This is new. And this leaf is really large and it's really pressing up against this wall here. See, it's sending out new roots, new air roots to grab onto this wall. I cannot wait for it to attach. So yes, this will be climbing this wall nicely. And then look at this. This too, this philodendron, it's finally sent out air roots and it's attaching to the wall. <gasps> so this too, and see new, new leaves. This too will be climbing this pillar. Yay! Look at how gorgeous this is, guys. Our beautiful philodendron. Look, <gasps> the pinks though, and the reds, the magentas, wow. Isn't that so pretty? Love this plant. Um, the other giant pothos still doing really well, climbing the wall. See, nice hard leaves. This tree here still doing well, tulip tree. And look, a beautiful flower. So cool. Guys, there's that gay multiracial finch couple. Okay, well, they're not multiracial, they're multi-species but he left. There, these two birds. That zebra finch and that owl finch are paired up. You guys are so cute. Look at these diamond doves. You diamond doves are so cute too. Hi guys, did you miss us? Did you miss us? Guys, this is Brittany and Rizal who also got a haircut. Hey Rizalzies, your, your haircut looks good. I miss your fluffiness, but this is good. And guys, guess what? It's Brittany's birthday today. Happy birthday, Brittany. Yes. Happy birthday, Brittany. She's now three years old. That's crazy. Oh, no, wait, guys. She's two years old. My bad. Two years old. Guys, 
I finally slept well after, oh, um, it seems like a long period of not being able to get enough sleep, but yay, had a nice sleep, and I think I'm going to take a nap today as well to re-energize um, before I start working again. But guys, today is a big day because our iguana pen is completed. We're moving the iguanas in today. Yay! And guess what else? The rabbit pen is almost done as well. OMG, I think the chicken coop also quite done. And Billy's bedroom also done. Well, Billy and his future wife and possibly kids. Well, probably, most likely kids. So, you know, I probably wouldn't be crazy working like this if um, I didn't really need to. Um, I'm just, it's my choice to work this intensely at this particular time. One, because for Ants Canada, the Ants Canada channel, my other channel, it's doing really well, guys. And I don't think, RJ and I were talking and we were looking at the analytics. I don't think Ants Canada has done this well before. Before this, the best Ants Canada ever did, like viewership wise and, you know, audience wise, was when we first exploded. That was one video back in 2016. And then during pandemic, um, where we would trend every week. Well, guys, we're US trending, we're world trending every week now. Last week, we hit top 10 in Canada trend. I'm not sure about USA, but I think it was top 10 as well. The last video that I did hit number four in US trending. That's crazy. As in the fourth most popular trending video in the US. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to, it's times like these where I try to squeeze that extra juice of energy from me because in the long run, you know, it'll benefit RJ and I. Um, cause my vi those videos that acquire a lot of viewership will continue to be, you know, pushed by YouTube over time, especially cause it's like evergreen content. Like it's, it's nature and science and education and YouTube will always serve those kinds of videos for years and years and years. That's what I, we have seen in our, based on our experience on Ants Canada. So I'm really trying to make some timeless epic videos Therefore losing sleep, but it's all worth it. Don't worry about it, Mabuhai Squad. I love being busy, even though it's tiring. It's just really fun. And of course, this new video coming up uh, for Ilo Ilo and the Dinag Yang Festival is going to be so fun. Woo! Um, so look out for that as well. But guys, I'm going to end this vlog now because it's been so long now. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this epic adventure over the past week. OMG, I haven't uploaded in a whole week. I'm so sorry, Mabuhai Squad, but you saw all the things that have been going on this entire week. It's been pretty crazy. Um, and I really appreciate you guys joining us on this entire journey uh, called life. Thank you. And coming up in the next vlog, you can rest assured, animals will be moving around. I can't wait! So Mabuhai Squad, if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. I know you guys have been doing that. Thank you so, so much. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhai Squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!